morning. Welcome to your Feel Better morning routine. I'm going to start today very simply with rotating high knees. All that means is you pick up your knees and you bring them up to your elbows as you twist. So you twist and move your elbows. I'll show you from the side here. Side to side. And just for 30 seconds, kind of warming up the body, getting some movement. Okay. It's uh, kind of a great way to kind of get the blood flowing and start early. And we'll move on to some decompression breaths. To do these, we'll start at the bottom. Big toes come together, big toe mounds come together, heels are about an inch or two apart. Start a slight bend in the knees to bring the thighs together, hinging the hips back just an inch. Hang loose fingers, pinky to the top of the pelvis, thumb to that bottom rib. Elbows are active and wide. And then as you inhale, feel the space expand in your torso in the back of the body and the rib cage in the front. Exhale, hold the belly in, press the stale air up. Do seven of these breaths. I'll continue to cue you through it. So keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. You're gripping into the floor with three points of contact on each foot, the big toe mound, little toe mound, and heel. Internal rotation of the knees. You're kind of pressing the thighs together, which will buckle the knees and a little hinge in the hips. I'll show you from the side. And then as you inhale, we're breathing into the back of the body. Elbows are, again are active and wide, putting the shoulder in the correct position. And then with the head, we're not tucking the chin, we're trying to bring it back. Imagine you're pressing your head into an imaginary headrest, growing through the crown of the head. Just making everything bigger, elevating and expanding through breath. Finish those, shake everything out. Now take your feet wide as your shoulders. If you're using a yoga mat, use the outside edges of the yoga mat to match up your feet. You want the outside edges of the feet parallel. So that creates, again, a little internal rotation. Coming into a founder, we're gonna hinge the hips back. As we do, the knees bend, and then scoop the arms forward, pressing every fingertip into a sphere of tension. Scooting that hip back, arms reaching. You're squeezing the fingertips, pulling the wrists apart, squeezing the elbows together and down and then puffing up the space between the shoulder blades as you inhale, exhale, belly button towards spine. You can exaggerate that reach. Hips go back, arms go forward as a counterbalance. We'll hold this for three more breaths. Should start to feel that load. Kind of doing some work here in the hips, in the glutes, in the hamstrings, maybe a little bit in the lower back, but no compression, so you're not arching your back. Now apply an outward anchor. I want you to imagine you're ripping the floor apart, the carpet apart, or wherever you're standing with your feet, pressing into the outer edges of the feet. And then as you do, leverage the hips up, bringing the arms out wide. We're gonna do five hip hinges. All you're doing is scooping as you reach the hips back, and then pressing it up. Inhale, exhale. Scoop, and exhale. Scoop, exhale, last one, scooping, and exhale, nice job, shake that out again, right leg forward, left leg back, we're on three points of contact on the right foot, two points on the left, which means your left heel is up, but the big toe mount and little toe mount are still pressing into the earth, take those hang loose fingers again, elbows active and wide, three decompression breaths here. bring the hands out wide, palms facing forward, and then we're just going to hinge forward, hinging the hips go back, arms come forward like you're peeking over a cliff without trying to fall over, obviously, and then press up, press into that heel to turn on the hamstring and the glute to leverage the upper body up, hinging forward, pressing up, three more of those, hinging the hips back, pressing forward. Last one on this side, pressing up. Then I want you to 
Interlace the hands up overhead, press the palms towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders from the ears, lean towards the right, and then we're just going to move this left ankle. Just 10 times, getting a nice stretch into the side body. I'll show you from the side angle here. Hopefully you can see my feet. I'm just pressing that heel up and down. Leaning over to your right. And then come back towards center, lower the hands back down, two decompression breaths. Step the left foot forward, step the right foot back, and we'll switch sides here. Three decompression breaths here. Setting up, again, three points of contact on the left foot, big toe mound, little toe mound, and heel, two points on the back foot, scissoring those thighs together. And then we're going to do five hip hinges. Hips go back, arms counterbalance forward, and then slowly pressing into the heel to bring yourself back up. Shouldn't be feeling much work in the quad. It's all happening in the hamstring and in the glute. So if you're feeling it in the quad, back that left knee up. Make sure it's over or behind the ankle. Interlace the fingers up overhead, press the palms towards the ceiling, lean over to the left, and we'll start to move that right ankle this time, just up and down. Nice and slow, stretching into that right side body. Step that right foot forward, let the arms fall down, shake it out. Come into a wide founder here, so a little bit wider than you were before. Again, outside edges of the feet are going to be parallel. Sink those hips back, bring the hands out in front of you into a sphere of tension, and then exaggerate like there's a tug of war happening between your wrists and your hips, sinking the weight back, keeping the knees bent, not allowing them to go forward. Five breaths here. Really try to make the torso as big as you can with your inhales. Your gaze is out on the horizon. Hands are at the height of the heart. Chewing on the side here for the last two breaths. I'm going to bring the hands next to the chest. And we're going to hinge forward for some good mornings, getting a nice stretch for the hamstrings. Just hinging the upper body moves in one unit. We'll do 10 of these, so five more. Nice and slow, control everything. Hold everything in. Come back into that founder. Push those hips back. And then with that outward anchor again, you're pressing into the outer edges of the feet. Slowly leverage the hips up. We'll do three decompression breaths here. And let that go. And we're going to start to hinge forward as we bring the feet direct, not directly, but about to the width of shoulders. So as we're lowering down, bring those toes together, and then connect your chest to your thighs. This sort of movement here, we're pressing the weight back into the heels, hamstrings and glutes, inching the fingertips forward, a little to no weight in the toes, let the head hang heavy. Keeping that chest to thigh connection, you're going to start to press into the heels and the arches of the feet to raise those hips up ever so slightly. should start to feel that right in the hamstrings here. Then let something go. Un you know, unclench the jaw, let the head hang heavy, and just breathe here. might start to feel a little tremble in the hamstrings. That's the changes we're trying to make. So keep breathing into that. All right. Now we're going to
to transition into a resting squat. Turn the toes out, heels are underneath you as you start to lower the hips down. I'll show you from the front. Into a resting squat. Now you can bring your hands together here to help press the thighs open. If you can't get your heels down, try to widen your base a little bit, see if that helps. If not, you can alternate between that resting squat and the hamstring stretch that we were just doing. So all it would be is something like this, where you just go down and then come back up. And do that until you kind of get that hip mobility to lower down into this resting squat. But eventually you want to end up here in a resting squat. I try to do this for five minutes. So if you want to pause the video now and kind of do this for as long as you can, that's perfectly fine. And again, if you're not feeling this, you can switch between that hamstring stretch and the resting squat. Just keep moving. We'll stay here for a little bit longer. Once you've finished your resting squat, we'll come into a cat cow. So all we gotta do is lower the hands down to the floor, bring the legs back behind you. For a cat cow, hands are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath the hips, inhale. Exhale, press the earth away, arching the spine. Inhale, drop the belly towards the floor as you raise your gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, press the earth away. Inhaling, imagine you're pulling your palms back towards your knees. Exhale, arching the spine. Two more. Wiggle it around a little bit. Moving into plank. Lots of different options for plank. I'm gonna get you into a regular plank and you can stay there. Try to hold that for you know, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, up to three minutes maybe. And again, you can pause the video or you know, find a modification that works for you. And if you can't hold it for you know, 15 seconds, go ahead and lower back down to the knees, take a deep breath, and then try to get back up there and build up your time as you go. Nice, strong, long spine. Alternatively, if you'd like to try an eight point plank, pretty fun, lower the arms down, all right? Bring the hands out in front of you. So hands are one point of contact, elbows are the second, hips, knees, and toes are down on the floor to start. And then we're gonna inhale and start to puff up that space in the shoulder blades. Most important thing is the elbows are out in front of the shoulders, not directly underneath them, kind of out in front of them. You start to grow. And then you just come up right to here. The hips are just barely off the floor. And you hold it right here. Everything will start to shake. Breathe into that rib cage, expand. And then when you come down, lower down the same way you went in. So hips lower, abs lower, shoulders relax, head can relax. That's an eight point plank. I'll show it to you one more time. Pressing up and then lower down. Right. If you weren't feeling that, you were still in the plank. We're going to run through two sun A's, lowering down halfway chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. And then on your next exhale, walk up to the front of your space, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice flat back, ears away from the shoulders. Exhale, forward fold. Big bend in the knees. Inhale, rise up, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands frame the feet, step the feet back into a plank. Lowering halfway chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Two breaths here. And then exhale, walking towards the front of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Big bend in the knees. Inhale, rise up. Arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, let it go. You can end this with some decompression breaths or whatever you need. Wherever you go, go drink some water. Have a great day.